President Joe Biden at the G20 summit in Brazil this week, racing to push through his foreign policy objectives before President-elect Donald Trump returns to the White House. Among his priorities, surging more resources into Ukraine. The United States strongly supports Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Everyone around this table in my view should as well. In a major policy shift over the weekend, the president authorized the Ukrainian military to use long-range attack missiles to hit inside Russian territory. And we have and, and will continue to up the ante uh, when necessary for Ukraine to continue to succeed uh, and ultimately prevail. For months, the Biden administration has denied Ukrainian requests to use the weapons inside Russia, worried it would escalate the war. This is just simply too late in the game. It should have been done a long time ago, but the Biden administration has been slow walking. Mr. Trump has vowed to end the war quickly, even as Russia has the upper hand. President Trump is talking grand strategy here. Uh, how do we get both sides to the table to the end this war? What's the framework for a deal? And who's sitting? Uh, at that table. And in a sign of the Biden administration coming to a close, some world leaders are already turning their attention to the president-elect. China. China is ready to work with the new U.S. administration to maintain communication, expand cooperation, and manage differences. Ukraine's president is applauding the U.S. approval of the long-range missiles, while a Kremlin spokesman says it is only adding fuel to the fire. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.